mistress. I am grade 5 humility. My poem is all about my real dream. My real dream. My dream is to become a superstar. I want to be famous and live in Hollywood. I want to be rich, beautiful, and talented. I want to have concerts and movies and guest appearances, which is why I'm auditioning in three townships. Maybe because of that, I'm sure I'll be discovered. The first town show I auditioned was called Search for the Dancing Eagle. So I danced. Suddenly, I tripped and fell on the floor in the front of the judges. I failed to finish my performance, so my name was called. That's okay. I have two more to look forward to. The second talent I participate in was called Finding the Future Dream. Oh, that's my chance to win home the pink. I can do this. Look at me. I'm trying to talk to you. Why can't you tell me about this? I talk. I talk. Oh no, I forgot my lines and the judge did pick me. Today is the last time show I'll join. Since the show is called Finding the Next Superstar. I was supposed to sing when I went to the comfort room over here to speak. Esther is going to win. Everyone knows it. I think she's unfair, but her does the mayor. I ran out crying and was about ready to go. I want to win. I want to be a superstar. That's the truth. I closed my eyes and prayed. I've got one last chance to make it, but now I wasn't as done as I was. Yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I'm scared. All yet my family will be watching, and I pray to finish what I started. I hear my name being called up. It's time. Let it go! Let it go! And the rise like break of the Let it go! Let it go! The perfect girl is gone! Here I stand in the light of death. Let the storm rage on! The cold never bothered me. Anyway, when I went backstage, I realized something I realized that my real dream is to become happy. It wasn't winning at any competition, it was about simply enjoying what I did. All tough, I did win for the first time in my life. I did make a mistake, and I'm still young and I have much to learn. And I'm sure there will be other town shows that I can join again next week. I look forward to that. Living in Tusona means that's a passion that God has given me. Three years from now, I see myself as the star in our church. So just like other church services, there's an MC, music minister, and teacher. Soon, I will hear that space for them as the one that says our fellowship with an opening prayer and bow down our heads and let's pray. Lord, we have thank you for giving us another day to express our gratitude. May your will be saved as we adore you. Amen. And now, we will call our worship leader. Are you ready to worship the Lord? As the congregation starts laughing, lifting their hands, and singing. And we open eyes and thank the Lord. I'll be sorry with you about the storm. Father, you are here over the flag. I'll be with you no and now we will receive food for our soul from faithful servants of God. Let's welcome everyone, our beloved Pastora, Pastora Juliana Benhano. Thank you for that wonderful instruction, Miss MC. Let's open our Bible in the book of Proverbs, chapter 62, verse 6. Bring up the child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. 
Our topic for today is how to train your child. I believe no parents would be for their child to be a criminal something. Is there anyone here? Who are very proud to disobedient child? Of course not. Let me tell you to how to let me tell you how to have to train your child. Number one, be a role model. Don't just tell them what to do, but show them how their actions speak louder than your words. If you want to raise a good child, be a good parent first. Love them and they will love you back. Hurt them so much and they will hate you. Is it nice to hear that from your child? Number two, be a passionate trainer. There are times that your child can be you, but don't punish them too much or say bad words. Don't say, you're stupid! Your sister is better than you! I'm sorry, mom. I'm just kidding this family. You must correct them with love. And Pastora Bellata gives her conclusion. Parents, we should change our our teaching will never be forgotten. Wow! It is nice picture of myself. A Pastora leading a congregation and transforming lives through God's word. I declare that it will happen in Jesus' name. Amen! Hi everyone, my name is Dave Arbaga. From grade 5 humility, my real dream. My dream to become my dream to become a superstar. I want to be famous and live in Hollywood. I want to be rich, beautiful, and talented. I want to have concerts, movies, and guest appearance, which is why I'm auditioning in three talent shows. Maybe because of that, I'm sure I'd be discovered. The first talent show that I auditioned was for called Search for the Dancing Divas, so I danced. Suddenly, I tripped and fell on the floor in front of the judges. I failed to finish my performance, so my name wasn't called. That's okay! I have the more to look forward to! The second time show that I participated in was for call, Finding the Future Drama Queen. Oh, that's my chance to win Home the Fame! I can do this! Look at me! I'm trying to talk to you! Why you can't tell me about it? I thought, I thought, oh no, I forgot my lines. And the judges didn't pick me. Today's the last talent show I joined this year. Since the show is called Finding the Next Superstar, I was supposed to sing. I went to the comfort room overhead, two women speaking. Esther's going to win. Everyone knows it. I think it's unfair. But her dad's the mayor. I ran out crying, was about ready to go home. I want to win. I want to be a superstar. But I won't win. That's the truth. I close my eyes and pray. I've got last one chance to make it. But now, I wasn't as determined as I was. Yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I'm scared. Yet my family will be watching. And i rather to finish what I start than come home a loser for not trying. I heard my name being called out. It's time. Let it go. Let it go. And I rise like the break of dawn. Let it go. Let it go. The perfect girl is gone. Here I stand in the light of day. Let the storm rage on. The 
cold never bothered me anyway. When I went backstage, I realized something. I realized that my real dream is to be happy. It wasn't about winning on any competition. It was about simply enjoying what I do. All thought, I didn't win for the first time in my life. I didn't make a mistake. I'm still young. I have much to learn. And I'm sure they have they have they have another talent shows that I can join next year. I look forward to that.